Hey guys, this is Caitlin, codename Invader Ares, and welcome to Until Dawn. Uh, before, oh jeez. Before we get started, I would like to say that I have played this game uh, multiple times to get all the different endings, except for everyone surviving. Since I thought you would think of me playing this over and over again on my channel is really freaking tedious. Plus, I am aware that everyone thinks that the Everyone Lives ending is the best one, so I thought, why not save the best for last? Or, or, or since that everyone thinks that the... Oh, boy, you know what I mean. Or, or, however, my reaction to this game might still be like blind, per se, since this is the first time I'm playing uh, the game with headphones. Alright. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Settings, 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 settings. Uh, brightness, audio, stuff audio. How long is it? Sound effects. Okay, well. Can I, can I? Confirm. Control options. Okay. Well. Alrighty then. I thought there was a option for what is this? Well then, I will be starting a new game so that I can get all of the collectibles and all that. Because I actually thought that you guys get would get severely ticked off at me. If I didn't find all the collectibles during my playthrough, so I will be finding all of them. So, also, if you guys hear anything else in the background, like other people talking, that is my family, and they will most likely be scrambling. <laughs> it's, it's a bit complicated. All right, let me shut my mouth now. I'm just starting a game. Starting to struggle over. Yes, yes, that is my point. That is the point. Butterfly but I fucking Tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. Like there's something about the butterfly effect that always fascinates me. I do not know what it is. Just oh. <clears throat> the smallest decision can dramatically change the future. Your actions will shape how the story unfolds. Your story is one of many possibilities. Choose your actions carefully. I really gotta say, this is one of my favorite horror games because the, the butterfly effect is just so ingrained into the game. It's just, oof. I'm not an idiot. I like, I love testing out the butterfly effect, but I only do it in the situations and environments where it's controlled and nothing happens. Like pretty much in games, books, movies, things like that. Not in real life. If I had any friends, I would never do this. It's just the cruelest fucking shit. 
It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. If I had friends and they were especially like this, I would, I would be like, we're not talking anymore. I'm not gonna be dealing with your shit. I'm not gonna be, I, I won't tolerate this, cause. Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh. Who oh, is this? This Chris? I, I I think that's Chris. Oh yeah, that that's Josh right here. Yeah. He's freaking tall. <laughs> so later on, I'll just think. That this is not my idea of a particular particular camera, but whatever. Yeah. Oh sweet Jesus. I never looked at the details on the bottle. Damn! It's a good fucking year for one, and that is some strong ass Jeez, alcohol. Josh. Damn. Jeez. Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Yeah, yeah, he did. <clears throat> oh, excuse me, my allergies are acting up. I hate that. I don't know what the hell. Yeah. Oh, god damn it. Jesus Christ. The triple X, like, ugh. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? <sighs> I got your note. Glad you can make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out, and see where it goes from there. Oh, hell yeah. Mm. Oh my god. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt, what are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, it's all gonna happen. Just a stupid prank. Uh, If I had a friend like Sam, she'd be my BFF, like, straight up. Then no, this is gonna take forever. Josh. Josh! Josh! Fuck! Guys, there's someone outside. Even if I knew that if Josh was drunk like that, he'd yeah, never be able to wake him up. If I was still in a panic, I'd still try. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. You don't fucking Why understand, you bitch. We are just messing around, Beth. It wasn't serious. Jesus. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, shit. Okay, here we go. This is the kind of thing that I'm afraid will screw me up in, like, later on in the game. Fast. Let's go fast. Hi. See. Oh <laughs> um, no! I'm gonna follow the footprints. Screw that! I'm not following the noise. No! 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 Oh hi. Hello. Don't mind me. Just looking for my sis. Jesus! Fuck! Shit! Damn it, Hannah! Where are you? This is what's worse. I'm gonna say, yeah. I, I don't like the camera in this game because I'm too used to having the camera go all around the character. It, it, with it being fixed, it just... Ugh. 
I don't know what it is, but I got used to it a little bit. Oh, jeez. Hold on, one to walk faster. Hello? Hello? Oh! oh. Hello! Totem! Come here, Totem. Totem, Totem. Sorry. Well then. Mm hmm. Well. well. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Indigenous tribes believe that butterflies brought dreams and premonitions. Each totem piece foretells a possible future event. How you play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. As you unlock totems, the events of the past will become clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we better skedaddle. We better skedaddle because I gotta find Hannah and also my... And also the built-in capture card on my PS4 only allows one hour maximum, so... I gotta get him. I gotta get him move on. Oh. What the hell was that? I don't know. Oh, there she Anna. is. Hannah. Hello? Hannah. Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. I actually want to see what it looks like when I load the tunnel. I've never let it. I've never let it done that before. <laughs> so it's clear of letting go. Hmm. I actually felt a little bit anticlimactic with the choice, but that fall though. Ouch. Big ouch. Oh. Before we begin, oh. there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. Mm -hmm. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom. This revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. Mm -hmm. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. Um, excuse me, that's a bit too close. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is and I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Mm -hmm. All right, we will start with a simple exercise. 
Could you please pick up the card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Mm-hmm. Why in the hell do you look familiar? Like, the actor, I mean. Okay, I feel a little bit unsettled. It's not the scarecrow. It, it's not the barn. What the fuck is that in the corner? Like, what is that in the bottom left corner? That's, I think that's what's freaking me out. Like, what the hell is that? So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. <clears throat> God, I, I hate my allergies. Okay. Sorry. Honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? Sure. If it is something you can't see, then why does it make you feel uneasy? I mean, is there something in the house? No. Huh. So... If it's not in the house, then where do you think it is? Can it be in the field? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. See, and is this threat human or is there some other fear that you have that you would like to talk to me about? A human can try to be reasoned with that. Those, whatever the fuck I'm seeing in the left, bottom left corner of that picture, it does not look fucking human. An inhuman threat. That's fascinating. Ah, oh, well, perhaps we can explore your fears a bit further in our next session, I'm afraid. We've run out of time. Of course we did. Probably why therapy doesn't work for me. The actor who plays him looks familiar. Who the hell is he? I just ugh. Song. I love it so goddamn much. I don't know why. Oh hell no! What the? Oh, fuck that! That's a roach. I don't do. I don't. I don't. I don't. Uh uh. Hell no. Today is the one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. This is an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Well, thank you for joining us, Anthony. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, 
the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, There's let's lot. do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back friends and fans. to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, friends and fans? Uh, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. Excuse me? I know you're all probably worried about me. And I know it's going to be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. Hold the phone. Friends and fans? Did you become like a big freaking YouTuber in the past year? Either he became a huge freaking YouTuber. Or, that's a fucking delusion he's got going on. No. Uh, what the hell? It means... It means so much to me that we're doing this. And that... I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together. And I'm thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that... We'll never forget, for for the sake of my sisters, and you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget. All right? Yes. to Mori. Hello. Sam had his best friend. Diligent, considerate, adventurous. Mm -hmm. When you say I can use it to move around the camera, the camera is mostly fixed. When you say I can move around the camera, I can move around like a regular video game. Like in God of War or Spyro or something like that. Just, you know. Oh, what? The gate's supposed to climb over. <sighs> Damn it. Oh, it's an email. Why in the hell did you print it out, though? Possibly besides the fact so that you can write the note, but still. Why in the hell? Oh, um. Jesus, never mind. Alrighty. Quick. Up. 
jump. I gotta relax all of my muscles right now because I think I know what's coming up. I think I know what's coming up next. Right. Yep. Hey, hello, okay. Bella. You hungry? Huh? <laughs> okay. Oh, I held my breath too. Like, holy shit. If you're, if you're a bit tense, then when you're trying to not move, then you actually move a bit more because your muscles twitch and all that. So if you relax a bit, then uh, you won't be able to move as much. And if you hold your breath at the same time and you relax your muscles, then you hold, then you're still, what? You guys know what I'm saying, hopefully. Oh yeah, here it is. See, this is another element of why this game is one of my favorite horror games. This is another reason why. Indigenous people and butterfly prophecies. Tribes who once lived in these mountains believed that butterflies carried dreams and prophecies of possible futures. The color of the butterfly indicated the nature of the prophecy. Why the hell is my phone going off? Sorry. Death. Black butterflies prophesized the dreamer's death. Danger. Red butterflies were warned of dangerous events. Loss. Brown butterflies foretold of tragedy affecting friends. Ew. Guidance. Yellow butterflies offered visions to help and guide. Fortune. White butterflies brought dreams of luck and good fortune. Hmm. These tutorials, my god. Why? 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 Sorry. Yes, 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 I'm well aware. What could this be? Graffiti. Oh, graffiti all the way up here. The past is beyond our control. Unless you have a time machine, this is very true. I'm closing the bag. I'm not snooping. Fuck that. Chris? Sam, hey, you made it. Has a crush on Ashley, methodical, protective, humorous. Um. Oh, so I found something kind of amazing. What? I'm not going to tell you. You got to see for yourself. Come on, it's this way. Where? Right around here. Gonna blow your mind.
Hello, what's this? Oh. oh man, look at this. Nice. I think we'll get a visit from America's most wanted. Looks like someone thought so. Oh, come on. This place is abandoned most of the year. Nobody comes up here. Are you sure about that? Clock clues to solve the mysteries of Until Dawn and Christ. Yeah. Eternal upon a poster about a fugitive on a mountain in the 19D. Someone didn't want to see this. Well. Wanted. Victor Milgram, sex male, height 6 foot 2, 1.88 meters. Last known address, Blackwood Pines. Last seen March 16th, 1998. Wanted in connection with a first degree arson offense as well as various death threats and more with information regarding the dangerous criminal to contact the BPMC as soon as possible. I do not think I have time to read everything considering my time limit with the capture card. So Yeah. What is it, Chris? What is it? Oh. Pretty rad, right? Yeah. Come on, look at these beauties. Uh, beauties is not the word that comes to mind. Why is this even here? What do you mean? W what the hell is a shooting range doing at the base of a ski lodge? Uh, dude, have you ever met Josh's dad? Yeah. Does he ever wear air muffs? Because I don't see any. I'm trying. Uh, now you go ahead, Chris Lane. All right. Here goes. Apparently not. What what the hell? No earmuffs? You're gonna go deaf. Dipshit. No, 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 I'm not shooting the squirrel. <laughs> nice shot. Your ass just got sacked. <sighs> hey, sharpshooter, a ride's coming. Wait, I'm just getting the hang of this. Come on, Chris, the cable car. There's the bird. Hold on. Neighbor business. Sam respected Chris's privacy. Chris was happy to see Sam. See, that's how I would. That's, that's, of all the th of all the choices I'm going to be making, depending on the situations displayed in this game, I will be doing what I would usually do. So yeah. Chris chose not to shoot the squirrel. Nature remained in balance. Yeah, here's the thing. If you shoot the squirrel, that bird that flies overhead, that's the bird that attacks Sam. And if you want to collect certain things, you cannot have that happen. It is essential. It is. It's definitely weird coming back up here after a whole year. goes fast. Hey, that's weird. The door's locked. Yeah. Uh, Josh wanted us to keep it locked. Keep people out. He said that? What people? I, I don't know. He said they found people sleeping in the station one time. It's creepy. Was it locked, though, is my question. For you. Oh, real gentleman. If... 
If the doors were locked, and of this, if the doors of the station were locked, how do they get in? If they weren't, then yeah, it's very obvious how they got in. But still. Fucking money to pay up for, though. I say that's pretty damn rude. What the fuck? I completely forgot that happened. Like, what the hell? Nothing more for me to inspect. Stay here and catch some Z's, but okay. Hari, 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 hari. Just like going to the prom. Yeah, of course. Here we go. Right, adventure begins. Oh, I hope this was the right thing to do. What? You know, getting everyone together on the anniversary. I mean, Josh seemed really pumped about us all doing something, didn't he? Yeah, no, he definitely did. I haven't seen him so excited about something in forever. Good, good. It's hard to tell with him, and I, I know, kind of been worried. No, no, it was, it was a good idea. I hope everyone else feels the same way. We're all here, aren't we? Thanks, bro. Good talk. <laughs> you know what? Let's just, let's just stop talking about what happened and enjoy the trip. Uh, you know what, you're right. You know how Josh and I met? No. Okay, third grade. Josh sat in the back of the room, I sat in the front. We didn't even know each other existed. But the kid sitting next to Josh started strap-snapping the training bra on the girl in front of him. So the teacher made him move to the front, where I was sitting. Okay, so? So, I got moved to the back. And? And next to Josh, that's how we met. I mean, and became friends. To this day. A match made in heaven. If it weren't for the fact that Jeannie Simmons hit puberty like three years early and on that day decided to wear a low-cut shirt that showed off her training bra, I mean, who knows? You could be riding in this cable car alone. Right now. Or, or talking to some other person entirely. Boom. Butterfly effect. Mm-hmm. Mike's new girlfriend, confident, trusting, irreverent. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. New people. Time to meet and greet. What the hell? Jess, hey! Jessica, over here! Uh, are you guys having a really weird stroke? We're stuck in this stupid thing. Can you please let us out? Pretty please. Oh my god. I thought we were goners. Another 10 minutes in there and I would have chewed off my own leg. Oh, sick, Chris. Look, I got a lot of meat on my bones. This is all muscle down here. Yeah, right. Uh-huh. Hey! <laughs> well, 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 what do we have Chris. here? Chris! My goodness! Seems that someone has a little crush on our good friend and dear class president, Michael Monroe. Chris. And what kind of sizzling erotica might our Jessica be capable of imagining? I wonder. Mike and M. Split were together. Whoa. Drama. Not really. Pretty 
clear cut actually ebbs out I'm in oh. all right all right let's just get up to the lodge already to get tired of all this nature and junk uh you guys go ahead I'm just gonna wait here for a bit see who else is coming you mean Mike what uh, I mean you know whoever uh-huh Sam did you see this view? I mean, that oh is cow. gorgeous. That is a gorgeous view. Take it all in. Seriously, couldn't they have built the lodge like right where the cable car ends? Mike's ex, intelligent, resourceful, persuasive. I don't think it would have been like as pretty. Emily's new boyfriend, motivated, ambitious, active. You know. And where's the bellboy when you need one? <sighs> getting chills. We're almost there. No, I mean, getting kind of creeped out. Oh, uh, yeah. It's gonna be weird seeing everyone up here again. Definitely not gonna feel like a regular party. Ah! Jesus! <laughs> Emily's ex, intelligent, driven, persuasive. Huh. <laughs> you guys. Michael! You really, really should have seen your faces right there. Dude, I almost clocked you just now. <laughs> nice one. Michael, you're a jerk. Come on. Guys, we're all friends here, right? No need for violence, just a little harmless fun. We're up in the woods, it's spooky. Come on, let's get into the spirit of things. The spirit of things? Seriously, what's wrong with you? I'm just trying to lighten the mood, Em. Don't be like that. Like what? The way you're being. You always get like this. Michael, you gotta step off. Emily and I are together now, and that's just the way it is. I'm not gonna tell you again. Do we understand each other? Well, I thought maybe we could move past all this. It buds, but yeah, fine. Mike. No, no, no. No, it's totally cool. I'm just gonna head down the road, be all mature and shit by myself over here. Peace. There's you a light. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Kind of hot when you get all alpha, you know that? Oh, crap. What? Hey, could you take these the rest of the way? The bags? Yeah. All the bags. Um, why? I need to go find Sam. Okay. Sorry, I just, I really need to go find her. I totally forgot I needed to talk to her before we get all the way up there. This really can't wait. We're almost there. It's important, Matt, please. Okay, hold on, hold on. The reason why I would uh, tell someone to back off is because... Mike has a girlfriend. And normally I'm I'm trying to put my thought process in a way that you guys would understand. Like what the fuck? I don't like cheating. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. Hey. I don't know, it's the only get out and hug Alright. That's fine. If it's so important, I guess I can pack horse it the rest of the way. But you owe me one. Excuse me? Well, then we're even, at least. I'll think about it. Just be careful. See you up there, sweetie. Thank you. I would agree, but I would be skeptical at the same time. There's why is because I would give them a chance to prove to me what the fuck they're doing is genuine. <sighs> Has a crush on Chris, academic, inquisitive, forthright.
Whoa, hello. Somebody's getting a little friendly. And not in the friend zone kind of way. They might need to check the expiration date on their big breakup. This is why I'd be skeptical. Especially with shit like this, like... Oh! God damn it, Matt! Jesus! Oh, sorry there. Sorry about that, Ash. I didn't mean to scare Jeez you. Jeez Louise, well, Matt! Well, I didn't mean to scare you, sort of scare you, but not like for real oh scare you. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh! Hey, well, man, I'm not really sorry, Ash, Dan. It's okay, it's fine. It's fine. What are you looking at? See anything juicy with that thing? Uh, it... Let me check it out. I don't... Let him know the truth. Let him know. Um, sure. Uh, go go ahead. Knock yourself out. Yes. Oh, son of a bitch. Seriously, Emily? What the hell, man? Hey, hey listen. It's probably nothing. But nothing you think? Well, yeah. Is it ever just nothing with him? Ever? I don't know. God I... Damn it. Matt. I not only don't go on my phone. I'd rather read or play games or draw or watch. Oh, or like that. You did not just do that. <laughs> Put your hands where I can see them. We've got you surrounded. But who am I to retaliate? What choice do I, a stubble young rebel, <clears throat> will have but to surrender to the strapping military uh, come to take me into custody? Oh. I wish I knew how to make myself oh, throw up sneaky, properly. Sneaky. Because this is precisely <laughs> what, because that is precisely what I would do if I ever Gotta saw try that. Harder this. Than that hero. Yeah. Where are you hiding, little chicken? Oh! Ah! oh I... Hey! Oh snap! If, when they were talking like that, just imagine me sticking my doing the motion of me sticking my finger in my mouth and then just Hello? going blah because that's what it is hey mike just good lord Boom, okay. oh you got me fair enough okay <laughs> mm -hmm. you can't hide from me michael i know all your tricks no uh-uh no. Straight in the face. Whoa! Oh. Oh. Right! Why don't you just... And then what? Oh. No more. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, more. Oh, you're going down. <laughs> uh. Gotcha! Done! Done city. So did I go down? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> I think you'd know so if I did. All right, all right. My, my. So are we calling it my favor then? Your worthy opponent, Miss Jessica the Snowball Queen. Okay, that sounds vaguely dirty. My lady. I like to play hard to get. Ah! Oh, ho, ho. Okay. Okay, you're really gonna get it. What am I gonna get? Well... I can think of at least one thing. Yeah. But you'll have to wait. Until Fuck. Later. My stomach is crawling. God damn it. Shut up. Off. I'll feed you later. Yeah. It's so nice out here, though. Pretty breathtaking. I mean, I could stay out here for pretty much ever, provided I was making out with you the whole time. Just making out? Quote, unquote. Well, I think we might freeze to death somewhere in between those quotes. Yeah. Wait, how did that, how did that affect them? Negative or positive? Absolutely nothing. Oh, hi. Again. And 
how are we feeling? Hungry. <laughs> I felt that we made some good progress in the last session. But I'm grown concerned about your situation. This time, we're going to try to understand the root of your anxiety. Now pick up that book, turn the pages. You will see a set of pictures and symbols. I want you to identify which image in each set makes you the most anxious. It's complicated. It's a long story behind it. Social anxiety is a bitch. I know I don't go swimming anyways and and just hell no. Rats because they have more than one ways to kill you. The rabies from the rats themselves and whatever fucking diseases the fleas on them carry. Not just because the death is much slower. Not really a fan. Oh hell no. Fuck that. I don't fuck around with roaches. Screw that. Hell no. Clowns, because realistically, I'm thinking realistically a bit. I'm not really afraid of clowns and scarecrows, but clowns scare me a little bit more. Once again, I'm going realistic. Gore is just exactly what it looks like. It's gore is just simply organs and a, a lot of blood. That can't hurt you. Crows are realistically scarier than gore because in their own way they are sentient, they're intelligent and they can attack you with like like whatever the fuck is going on in their head they will attack you and they will do it relentlessly so realistically neither of them scare me it's just oh, oh fuck you <laughs> Did I startle you? So sorry You're doing very well Realistically, crows are scarier than gore. Because gore can't hurt you. It really can't. Try to speed up a bit. The more you rely on your instincts, the more honest your answers will be, and the more enlightening you will find this experience. Mm-mm, mm-mm. I kill spiders all the time. My family, my mother and sister have arachnophobia, so I kill spiders all the time. Fuck that I don't fuck around with needles either. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. Mm mm. So the classic zombies and their souls all hell clowns are still. Yeah. Again, needles. Mm. Mm mm. Again, needles. Storms don't scare me because I have them all the time here. They even knock, they even sometimes knock out my power and it's a bit regular, so. That's very interesting. Thank you for answering so diligent. <laughs> Cockroaches, clowns, and needles. <laughs> Some combination sounds like a good Friday night. <laughs> Uh, well, I'm afraid, once again, we're out of time, but I promise we'll talk again very soon.